Hey guys, I'm continuing my Namibian lock quest, but not having a whole lot of lock. And I had to I had to settle, quite honestly. This is a... Uh, uh, I found some really old Fort Knox. Well, I don't... They've been hanging on the shelf for a long time anyway. I don't know if you can read it through, but I've already opened it, and you can see the Fort Knox guarantee is that these are really good locks. So that's your personal guarantee. Now, I can't find any locks manufactured in Namibia, but I believe these are made in Zambia. At least that's where the website is, which is, of course, nearby country. So, but when I look at the locks themselves, uh, they seem rather generic. There's no engraving of any kind. They're completely generic. Both ends of this cylinder have absolutely nothing on them. So, anyway, that's, that's just the way it goes, I guess. We've got to take what we can get. Uh, to give you an idea of the bidding, here's what we're looking at. So it's a five pin lock, got some pretty good bidding. And it does work. It's not too bad. It's a little bit stiff, but it, it does kind of get caught a little bit, but it does work. So let's see if we can get this thing open, uh, see how many different ways we can find to get this open. Let's first try to see if we can use a rake on it. I'm going to take a basically a Bogota and let's just see if we can rake these open see how easy this is try to reset I might have overset something there and there we go we can rake it open so let's next try to, uh, let's see what we got here. Let's just try to take a regular standard hook and let's see if we just can zip it real quick. Maybe not. Let's just give it a couple more tries, see what we can get here. And nothing. All right, so let's just say we can't zip it. Get our tool stuck in there. All right. <clears throat> Let's just see if we can SPP this thing. So a little bit of pressure all the way to the rear on the fifth pin. And let's see if we just can't get this thing SPP'd real quick. Uh, to be honest, it's a pretty sloppy lock. You can see I've already, there are no security pins in this thing, uh, but I've already got a false set. And I think that's just because the pins are probably greatly undersized for the cylinders that they're in, be my guess. And there we go, SPP. So I really don't know who made this. Uh, it is a Fort Knox brand. But if you have a Fort Knox really good lock in your door, I think it might be a good idea to replace it with something that's a little more resistant to picking and raking and all the other ways of getting into these locks. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe, stay legal, and I'm going to attach at the end of this a, a picture of um, a game park that we had a couple free hours and we drove through, so I got some animals. I'll paste on the end of it. Thanks. Oh, beauteous. Beauteous. Hey, fellas.